Well, my friends, if you've been watching my videos, you know by now that one day a week, or even more than one day a week, I've been working on a big project. So, as you know, I got a big shelf that I could use to put all of my stored goods in, and then I had a bunch of little shelves. Well, I'm back here in the out porch pantry. Now, this pantry is the one that's probably the most disorganized because I really don't care much about it as far as how it looks because nobody ever sees it. But I like having things organized. It's just out here, it gets neglected a little more. As you know, I didn't, it wasn't that long ago, I did a video on, I had a shoe rack and I was using that to put my canned goods in. And that's because that's what I had at the time. And I thought, well, it's better than to be wasteful and not to use it. And I thought about putting canned food on it. But now I have the shelf that was in my pantry because I had the bigger shelf in there. That means I gotta take everything and organize it on this big, on this big old shelf. So, I'm not sure how to start that. <laughs> it's a little bit overwhelming because I have so much and while I do keep control of it and I know what I have and I don't just keep canning things for the sake of canning it, but I don't waste any food either. And so if something comes my way and I can more beans, I can it. But as you've seen in everything in all of my storages, they are three years and under. I don't have anything older than three years. So we're gonna get rid of the shoe rack now. <laughs> and we're gonna take this rack, cause it's a lot bigger, and we're gonna put it in replace of that. I'm gonna speed up the camera to be honest with you. Stuff does not overwhelm me but I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> I don't know where to start because I don't have room to work in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to have to try to slide this big shelf over and put things on the shelf as I get to it, I guess. I don't know, but the whole idea is of course, the bigger shelf you have, the more you can put on it and the less room it takes. All right, enough of talking and I gotta get started on here. So it's about 50 degrees outside and so in here it's about maybe 55, which is really nice. This is the perfect temperature. Between 45 and 55 and 60 degrees, that is the perfect temperature to store your food. But I'm gonna go ahead and get this all off here, and then we will see what it looks like. All right, wish me luck. I wish some of you guys were here to help me. Oh well, I guess it is motivation, right? Motivation to turn that camera on and show you parts of our life that maybe aren't Hollywood, <laughs> you know, Hollywood style. <laughs> There's not gonna be anything Hollywood here, but it is gonna be realistic TV. That's for sure, nothing staged. <laughs> Back a year ago. Because I'm gonna take this cart that I just did a product review on, and I'm actually gonna use this to store my mixers and things in the closet. You know I put all the canned goods in here. <laughs> so now we're gonna put the canned goods up on this shelf here. Now this shelf has wheels, so I'm able to roll it around so I can roll it to get my other food. While I did all of this, I did an inventory of what I have, and so I know exactly what I have now, and this will be the inventory until the fall. This was a spring cleaning. I put a new carpet piece that my daughter gave me. It's a carpet rug, and it looks really pretty. And now I'm going to put all of these, all these cans on this shelf, because this shelf holds more room. It's all about room, and the more you can fit on a smaller room. <laughs> All right, let me show you. All right, everyone, I am finished. I'm really pleased with how everything turned out. It was a tremendous amount of work, but everything looks so much better. And let me show you the final result of one new shelf, turned that into cleaning the one room, took the two little shelves and made something really nice.
back a year ago. All right, so these are all my potatoes that I grew last year. I have little ones and I have big ones. And now what we're gonna do is I gotta sort through these since I cleaned out that pantry. I have a bucket if there's any that aren't nice, but the rest we'll put in this basket. I have some sweet potatoes, but they're probably not that good anymore. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go through all of these potatoes. I'm trying to think of a way it's the easiest. I'm just gonna visualize and go through the ones that look like they're not very good anymore. And then I'm just gonna dump them in. I'm very blessed. I had a lot of potatoes last year. Now most of them were smaller, but some were bigger. All right, let's go ahead, see if I can dump them in here. This is definitely a job to do outside because of the mud and dirt. Now I'm just gonna go through them. You don't wash your potatoes when you store them because they will rot. All right. It's perfect. Now I can put them in my pantry and turn, put the, cover them like that so they don't get the sun. And that's perfect. And I have room for them now. All right. This is what I have left. And I, they fit nicely in this basket. Now you wanna make sure that you cover them up because you don't want them to get the sun. And now I have lots of room in that outport pantry to put these potatoes. Take care everyone and we'll see you guys tomorrow. It comes with a set of four of them, and it is a big bag like this that you fill with dirt. And these are made, you can plant potatoes in them or carrots or any root kind of crop. So we open them up, fill them up with dirt, and then here we have a little door that we can open up. And here is where you can harvest all of your potatoes under the ground. So you can just go every day and pull some out under the ground and you can still have your potatoes growing.